Did you know 3D printing is actually much easier than you might think? For absolute beginners, if you don't have a 3D printer already, I recommend getting the Bamboo Lab A1 Mini. In this short form video series, I'll show you exactly how to unbox and set up your first 3D printer. After removing the packaging, go ahead and carefully cut this zip tie. You'll also want to remove any extra padding that's under the build plate. Next, go ahead and find the setup guide. We'll essentially be going through this guide in this video series. In the packaging, you'll find this small cardboard box, which contains some extra components as well as some tools that we'll need to set up the printer. Start with locating the long Allen wrench. Then unscrew the four bolts that hold on the temporary bracket that's used to protect the 3D printer during shipping. Now this bracket isn't really needed for anything, so after you unscrew it, you could go ahead and throw it away. Feel free to do whatever you want with these extra screws. I'm just gonna go ahead and put them in the parts bag. Next, we'll need to tighten three screws under underneath the printer. So carefully tilt up the 3D printer and you'll find the screws underneath pointing diagonally out horizontally. It's a little bit tricky getting underneath the build plate like so, just be careful when you're leaning the printer side to side. Next we'll need to install what's called the scraper. This is the scraper here. It slides in from the back like so and you'll find the scraper bolt in the parts bag, it's right here. And it goes up through the bottom like so and simply tighten it with the Allen wrench. Now we're almost done here. We'll need two more bolts here for the filament spool holder. The filament is the material that the 3D printer prints. You'll find two holes in the back and align the part like so and then go ahead and tighten it with the two bolts. Next, go ahead and find this gray tube. This is called the Bowden tube. You could put it into any of the four holes on top of the extruder and then put it into the hole on the back of the printer like so. Next, go ahead and find this part right here. We'll use this to connect the power cable with the Bowden tube, just to make sure everything is nice and neat. Now lastly, go ahead and take the spool holder and slide it on like so. Now we have it fully assembled, let's go ahead and plug the printer in. 